Now if you're looking for some cheap profitable investments on a budget, the best area for you to look at might be actually the Shanghai Major. Now obviously it does not come out, we still got a couple months, but if we want to look at this right here, these are the standings of each team and if they're likely to go ahead and qualify for the Shanghai Major, and I want to break it down. We're going to be seeing 14 European teams, 7 America teams, and 3 Asian teams. Now this right here is the European teams, theoretically the top 14 are going to qualify to the next Shanghai Major. The biggest thing I want to point out is we're not looking at the specific teams, we're looking at teams right now that only have one borderless sticker out there because we don't know if Shanghai is going to be borderless, but if it ends up being borderless teams that don't qualify and only have one sticker that's borderless statistically end up being very profitable long term. More interesting though, getting into the Americas right here, the biggest one I want to point out is 9Z. They only have one borderless sticker out there right now, and that's definitely one that's been a high area of interest. Otherwise, we've got a couple teams that definitely do have two, like Imperial. There are a couple of the interesting teams. The biggest thing I want to point out is there's three teams at the bottom here. We've got Legacy, we've got Fluxo, we've got Sharks. Three teams that I definitely think have a strong amount of interest other than Legacy that could potentially see some increase if we don't see anything new inside of this area with them not qualifying. It's an area to keep your eyes on, especially moving forward. And lastly, the Asia results right now are very interesting because obviously we can see Lin Vision is coming in at number five. Remember, only the top three teams are going to be qualifying here. Mongols is a guarantee at this point unless they switch up their roster, which seems very unlikely. FlyQuest and Tailu are on the very edge. We could see Rare Adam or Lin Vision slide in there, so keep your eyes on this one, but it's definitely interesting because Tailu is right on the edge and that's something that people definitely do want to see considering this is going to be the Chinese Shanghai Major. Skinland is today's sponsor, and they're giving you a $10 bonus with code MASTERSHINY just to try them out. They're my go-to selling spot with the highest rate for sellers, and it's super easy to use. They're going to be currently the best option, paying over 100% when you use that $10 bonus. They're super trusted when it comes to transactions, and it took me just about two minutes for me to get my over $200 from this Emerald German Gander. They've got tons of different payout options, and they're also going to be having a super low fee buyer's marketplace. It's super easy, tons of deals cheaper than Steam, and tons of different deposit options. This deal won't last forever, make sure you check them out today with that top link in the description. Now obviously when we're talking about cheap stickers, the one that's definitely going to be coming up to your mind is Paris. Now obviously Paris is the cheapest capsule out there in the entire game when we're talking about stickers, looking at about 13, 14 cents a piece. And honestly, if you're going to make any investment, I would highly suggest you're probably looking at the capsules overall compared to the stickers, but the stickers are actually on an increasing trajectory in terms of applications. If we want to look at them, in the past month we have seen nearly every single sticker go up since its previous month beforehand, which is really good, really good news for Paris investors. Obviously, we run into a couple big problems here. First up is the fact that we see a massive supply of these capsules overall. There's a reason they're sitting at 13, 14 cents. But the biggest thing I do want to point out is the actual fact that people are applying these stickers in record numbers. If we want to look at the Legends capsule and the hollow rates, nearly all of these stickers have been applied for the most time in a single month in history of the entire capsule being released. This is a very important moment to realize because it does show that there is demand for Paris capsules. Obviously, it's just a massive supply sitting in the way and so much competition from Copenhagen Antwerp and Stockholm that we really don't know if there is any investment potential here even in the longest term. Now when we're talking about cheap investments, specifically those that have a massive upside potential without a ton of risk, a lot of that comes out of the fact of brand new updates and what they're going to be bringing and one of those is an operation. Talking about filler skins, these are an area that is really underdeveloped at the moment because of the brand new drop system. Now obviously if you remember, you can now choose your drops which means a lot more filler skins are being created and therefore we're seeing them at the lowest price point they have really been seen at in multiple years. Now this is really good if you're an investor because obviously that means you're getting in at a super low price point, but it's very bad because these are a lot more higher risk than they used to be. Theoretically, if no investment update comes that's going to be utilizing these in the next couple of months, you're going to be losing money nearly guaranteed because they're going to keep on dropping down in price. Obviously, if we look in the past, we can see that filler skins have ended up being one of the most successful short-term flips in a very significant way because they're going to be able to double or potentially triple overnight. I will say, be very careful inside of this area with a brand new drop system. We have not seen these actually productively work out for many people. A lot of people end up getting burned, but if you can get in at a super low price point, it might not be a terrible idea to have a little bit of your portfolio there if you strongly believe there's going to be an update that's going to utilize these in the short term future. Now, if you look at the market over the past month, there's been a pretty strong increasing trajectory. This is just the overall market right here, but one area that's followed this pretty much precisely is going to be the agent market. Now, agents are something that used to be a very, very cheap investment. We're talking just a mere dollar or two could get you one of the more prestigious agents. Now, that has obviously changed now as we're looking at potentially a hundred dollars for some of the more expensive agents. But that being said, I definitely think agents are an area that I'm personally going to be avoiding for a couple different reasons. Obviously, they are a little bit more expensive now. They're still on the cheaper end, relatively speaking, for an investment, but they're non-consumable items that I think, honestly, are going to be having a little bit harder of a path moving forward. Specifically, if we want to focus in on the reason why agents have been on a such strong increasing trajectory, I honestly believe that it's 100% contributed to the fact that we have not seen any new agents influence the market. Obviously, when we haven't seen any new agents come out in nearly three years, 
first, very easy for those old agents, which had a much smaller pool of people that were playing during that time to go ahead and get those agents to have an increasing trajectory and overall lead to the situation we're at right now. I don't think we're going to see agents overall crash, but I definitely don't think you're going to be coming anywhere close to the growth we've seen over the past year or two moving forward. Now, obviously, we couldn't make a cheaper investments video without talking about rare cases. Now, I'm going to keep it relatively short, but rare cases are definitely going to be one of the best opportunities for nearly everyone at every single price point for a couple different reasons. First up, the fact that you're going to be looking at no more than roughly a dollar to get into some of these cheaper rare cases, which have a strong potential behind them. Talking about the supply, it's usually decreasing significantly quicker than the cases are actually being produced. And when we're talking about these cases, it's a super cheap price point, which means a lot of people can go ahead and open them and also invest into them, which is perfect the best of both worlds. Looking at unboxing numbers, we can see that these are consistently being unboxed at heavy rates, which is really good considering the fact that a lot of people are definitely invested into these. So we're going to be running into that issue sometime down the line. But honestly, at this point, so many are being unboxed. It's not really a real concern. You're really going to be looking at maximum a dollar for a lot of these cases. I will say the snake bite and the clutch are a lot more appealing at a super cheap price point. Just be careful. That obviously comes with the caveats of those cases are probably going to be taking longer to develop. They've got a much higher supply than the rest of these, which is quite evident by the fact that they are significantly cheaper than most of these other rare cases. I would say if you've got a decent budget and you want to throw some into a little bit of a safer option, this is going to be my 100% recommendation all the time. The other thing I want to hit on is going to be Stockholm and Antwerp. These are going to be what I consider your cheaper, safer options if we're talking about sticker capsules. Obviously, the biggest caveat that comes along with these two capsules is the competition. You're going to have Copenhagen, you're going to have Paris. These two are guaranteed to be at a cheaper price point than Antwerp and Stockholm, especially in the next five years. They're always going to be that way. With that being said, that doesn't necessarily make them a bad investment. They're just going to be a little bit different. I would definitely say, look at the application numbers. If there's a specific capsule that's appealing to you, it's definitely not a terrible idea to pick up some of them. We can see the Antwerp capsules. They have been on a decent trajectory over the past month. Obviously, they've lost a lot of the value they held previously, but people do value these stickers more than they do Copenhagen, more than they do Paris. I would say it's going to be a little bit more of a gritty investment. It's not going to be something that's just going to guaranteed slowly go up over time, but it's something that I would definitely say for diversification, if you want to get into this, it's not a bad investment as long as you know specifically what you're getting into and what you're doing. Finally then, those active duty cases are something that I'm completely avoiding in the current market. First up, they have just had an explosion in price. They're up potentially 15-20% over the past week or so just because people have finally started to get an interest in them just for unboxings, whatever it is. It's not a good thing for investors if you're trying to pick up some of these active duty cases. But on the other hand, these are really bad investments when we look at what happened previously. Snake bite, clutch case. We can look at what happened to both of them. They exploded in price when they got removed and then they nearly lost all of that profit. Unless you were looking to sell at that peak, usually active duty cases in the current moment are not what I'm trying to get in. Now, if you're looking for what I would buy, I've got a whole series about it. I would highly suggest you check it out. But the biggest thing is going to be rare cases. And honestly, I'm looking at potentially a Shanghai major investment. I definitely think there's a lot of potential inside of that area because I don't think a lot of people are really looking at it in the current moment. That's all I got. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be a great rest of your day.